Gemini. So, it's October. Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Yes. Okay, it's October. Um, I wasn't confused about the month. I was confused as to what sign I was on. But we're on Gemini. So, we are in October. It is spooky season. And y'all know October is my favorite season because we get to do spooky tarot. And I apologize for my absence and my MIA. I left my camera stand at my mother's house when I went to take care of her for surgery. And so I am, um, you know, I don't have my stuff. So I'm like sitting on the floor, which, you know, is not ideal, but we do what we got to do, right? When you have to work. So, um... It's your turn, Gemini. We are going to do some spooky tarot. Depending on how much time I have, um, I'm going to try to get as many signs in, in as I can. All right, so let's let's dive in. Clear the energy. And I just read for a client and also for Tori. And now we are going to read for Gemini. Gemini, what does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know about their life and love, right? This is not a twin flame reading. It is just a general love read. And let's face it, y'all, love is scary and spooky. So don't act like it's not. All right. <clears throat> Gemini. So whatever comes out will come out. <clears throat> Gemini. Wow, Gemini. <laughs> so there's a little bit, just a little bit of happily ever after. Oh man. I don't want to take all of these cards, but you know, it's if they come out, I'm not gonna argue with spirit. So we have the sun. This is literally the energy of like, you are freaking shining, Gemini. You got all of this beautiful energy around you. You're shining. You're glowing. You're manifesting. You're happy. You're centered. You're present. You're beautiful. Oof. You let go of something that was really weighing heavy on your heart. I mean, really just putting you through the, through the poopoos, okay, and you've found yourself, you've done a lot of self-healing, a lot of deep alignment and self-searching and soul-searching, right, <clears throat> a lot of deep inner work, and you have love coming in, and this one is different than the rest. They want to commit to you, Gemini. Let's get some more information about this person that wants to commit to Gemini. I just did. I just cleared my space and I meditated so I could give you the best possible reading, Gemini. That's why I'm trying to get as many readings out as I can right now because I am a clear and perfect vessel for source at this moment in time. More information about this person. All right. So they're giving me the Empress. This person matches your energy. They're in touch with their feminine side. Doesn't matter if they're masculine or feminine. That doesn't matter. All right. This person has their shit together. They're giving off Empress vibes. They see you as an Empress if you're a Divine Feminine, right? But they also are in touch with their feminine side. So they're showing up also as an Empress, meaning this person is aligned. They're in touch with their feminine side. And if you're a Divine Feminine watching this, this is exactly why this person is going to be different than the other ones. This is exactly why this person when they commit to you, they're gonna be you're you're gonna be like this person feels different, their energy feels different. Because it is different. They are in touch with their feminine side. So they're going to know how to bring out 
your feminine side. They're going to know how to, how to, they're going to know how to tame your feminine. They're going to know how to keep your feminine safe, protected, soft. This person is also very self-aware. They've been through heartbreak and heart ache as you have. They're great at communicating and they bear their soul. This is how you'll know who this person is because when you guys get together, this person will bear their soul to you. It's a bearing of souls and your guys' communication will flow very easily. And the energy is going to be equal give and take. Equal give and take. They're going to match your energy, Gemini. If you give 110% of yourself, they will give 111. I'm just kidding. They'll give 110 too. They want to give to you. I heard I want to give. I'm going to give to you. You're worth it. They wear their heart on their sleeve. Page of Wands. There has been a lot of growth in this person. I don't know if this is someone that you already know or are aware of, but this person wasn't always this way. They had to grow and learn through lessons. The Page of Wands shows me that this person has, has, has grown through life lessons. They've been through a lot. And every, every lesson that they went through, they learned from it. Okay, one more card, please, sir. There's been a lot of growth. Knight of Cups. So they want to come in with a love offer, whoever this person is. They definitely want to come in with a love offer. Can we get a clarification card about this person? Give me another defining characteristic about this person so Gemini will know who this person is. Give me a defining something about this person what is their energy like what are they like three of pentacles so there's someone who's they're very cooperative they're not a people pleaser but they really really love to work with others okay so the, for example this could be someone who their job um, requires them to work with other people in like a team, right? They could work with children. Um, they could work with people. Maybe they're a counselor. Whatever it is that they do, it requires them to cooperate with other people. So they work well with other people. Um, I don't see them, though, as a people pleaser. Like, they're not, like, someone that's low vibrational. It's going to be like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to rock the boat. Like, no, this is not. This, they're coming up as empress, right? So this person is very much boss energy, right? But they work well with others, okay? That makes sense. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a moon algae card for you, Gemini. Gemini, what do we got for Gemini? And then we're going to end with a... Let's see. Probably a music oracle card for you. What else do we have for Gemini, please? Gemini. 
work through your feelings last quarter moon in aries so when this person comes in gemini be very cautious of not allowing your feelings of how things are supposed to be and how they're supposed to work out to affect how you feel when this person comes in okay um put away the notion of how things are supposed to be and how your past belief systems about men or women or how they are or whatever put all of that aside put aside any false beliefs and any past beliefs okay i don't want you to punish someone for the deeds of someone else's past deeds does that make sense i don't want you to punish this possible new person that's coming in for the deeds of someone you know that didn't know their head from their butthole okay <laughs> so it's important spirit the advice of spirit is to work through your feelings right now see what your beliefs are about love see what you believe about love secretly do you believe that love exists do you believe that you can have the happily ever after do you believe in fairy tales do you believe in magic because you should go over all of those beliefs in your mind discover what it is that you secretly believe about love and throw it all out the window and start again and start with the magic and the belief that you are worthy that the fairy tales are real that the movies are all real the romantic movies are all real because they are because you create your life and you're going to create nothing but amazing things for this new romance that you are drawing into you okay work through all of those feelings of not feeling good enough work through all the feelings of you know i can't have love because men are like this or women are like this and everyone cheats and blah 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 and shove it out the door Romance is real. Romance is alive. Chivalry exists. There are great men and women out there. There is someone out there just like you. You're watching this. You're aligned. So there has to be someone out there just like you. Period. Last card for Gemini, please. I'm going to take a little breather and then I'm going to read for Cancer and Leo and be done, I think. My butt hurts from sitting on the floor. <laughs> Last card for Gemini. Madonna! Ooh, Gemini. If that is not your energy, I don't know what it is. All right. Everyone is entitled to your opinion. It's perfect for Gemini. Everyone is entitled to your opinion. This is true. Geminis are very opinionated people. And you guys have a whole lot to say. And you're great at communicating what it is that's on your mind. Speak that shit. Pleasure without permission can be the greatest pleasure of all. Ooh. Pleasure without permission can be the greatest pleasure of all. Gemini. Naughty. You are and always will be your own work in progress. You are and always will be your own work in progress. Beautiful. That seems like an amazing place to end this reading. Um, if something resonated, I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. It is completely free to you, Gemini. Also share. That also helps as well. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all of my information will be in the pinned comment um, and also in the description box below my video. I love you, Gemini.